Hey guys, this is Charles from Indie Game Hustle. I just had a really quick um, video I wanted to share with you guys regarding Pro Builder and using your assets or using your Pro Builder assets with your scripts. I had a, uh, a viewer on YouTube who had a question about that. They were trying to translate or use a transform in their code and basically either rotate or move the object using scripting. Um, but they just weren't able to do it after building um, up their object uh, with ProBuilder. And so I wanted to address that. It's actually super simple. Um, generally, the asset is simply static. And all you have to do is actually turn off static. And while it's super simple, I'm just going to go ahead and show you basically how simple it is. And let me go ahead and add a regular Unity game object to the scene. And I'm going to drop a cube in the scene and I'm going to move this over. And then I'm going to drop in a uh, Pro Builder asset as well. I'm just going to do a Control K, get me a cube. And just for clarity purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and change the vertex color. There we go. And I'll just make it, uh, let's see, uh, this color here that works for me. All right, perfect. And so let's just go ahead and get these guys lined up. Perfect, all right. So we have the two cubes here and what I'm gonna do is put a script on them that will simply allow me to hit the arrow key to rotate uh, the cube on the Y axis. So to do that, I'm going to use a visual scripting program called Bolt. And I have a script already created here that I did. And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and add a flow machine. And I'm going to go back and I'm going to drop this into my macro here. And then I'm going to do the same thing for my uh, Pro Builder cube. Add a flow machine and I'm going to drop that macro in there. All right, awesome. So. If you're not familiar with Bolt scripting, um, it's just like coding. Uh, so it, it's really no huge difference. Um, I just work better with the visual aspect of coding. And I do plan on some videos in the future for that. So you can keep an eye out for that. But generally what this script is going to do um, in the update event, it's this here is a branch. This is a if statement ultimately. And it's going to say basically um, if the input horizontal multiplied by time delta time is greater than zero we're going to rotate this object around the uh the y in a negative five uh just something very quick and simple so you can replicate this uh very easily within uh unity c sharp and visual studio all right so i'm going to go ahead and get out of there all right so i have this script assigned to both of these objects and what I'm going to do first is simply just go ahead and hit the play button. And let's see what happens. We should be good to go there. And let the everything load up. All right, so we have our script work and everything is flowing. And so what I'm gonna do is hit the right arrow. And so you see that the Unity built-in cube is rotating but the pro builder one is not so i'm going to go ahead and push play and let's make a very quick change to that so there it is there selected all you have to do is click static all right so next what i'm going to do is hit play again and there we go and i'm going to do it again and so now we're rotating and so it's really just that simple um nothing you know to worry about uh generally that's all you need to do um now if you noticed already that the pivot point of the pro builder object is obviously on the corner there so let's go ahead and make a quick change to that uh so that we can kind of get it looking like the unity cube so all right so we just need to find the center pivot all right, just make sure you select the object in object mode and go ahead and click on center pivot. All right, so now that the center or the pivot is centered, 
I'm going ahead and hit play. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the arrow key. And now we're rotating in the same way. All right. So I just wanted to create a quick video basically showing that. Um, I hope that is helpful to you. Um, of course, let me know if you guys have any other questions, generally just about little weird things like that. Um, but I can definitely see how that can uh, trip anybody up because you just wouldn't know about it if you don't know it's there. All right. Again, this is Charles at Indie Game Hustle. I will talk to you guys later. All right. Bye. Thanks.